So you guys, welcome back to another episode. We're uh, up here now to quickly go through the hive. Uh, we're going to swap out some of the um, those moldy frames in there and stick a super on along with uh, the summer roof and some floor. Um, got the super over there and a couple of frames. So we just need to get our smoker going. But I um, thought I'd just quickly show you guys the field up there. It's a lovely meadow field, this kind of silage. And it's beautiful, it's in flower now. So they should have a great flow on. As you can see, they're all flying up into it. But um, unfortunately, guys, I don't think I'll be able to record me going through the hive because I don't have a tripod or anything. But um, if there's something interesting while I'm going through doing it, I'll try and take a glove off. So there you are, guys. We're done. Unfortunately, we have to turn the hive uh, 90 degrees, uh, the entrance facing now towards uh, the bungalow here. Um, that was due to the back, obviously, on these mesh uh, open row of floors don't have uh, a back to them, so it didn't balance across the wood properly, and um, obviously I couldn't leave it like that, so I unfortunately had to turn it because I didn't have any other wider um, frames to put it on. But um, I should have showed you guys the spiders that were in here. It was absolutely crazy. I banged them out, and about five or six um, absolutely huge spiders landed on this deck in and scarped in. Uh, to those holes. They've obviously been well fed over the winter and I mean they were huge, they must have been about like that. The bodies on them were honestly like the size of maybe that finger. It was, it was crazy. But I'll take you guys up now closely and you can have just a little look at the activity going on since we've uh, done this. So as you can see there's a lot of bees fanning at the new entrance. On the sack, but... I'm not guaranteed I'm going to stand now, but uh, I'm going to have to remove that web. Uh, I'll do that in a second, I'm going to put a glove back on to do that because there's a lot of bees against stuff there. But this was where the entrance was, um, it's now obviously on this side. But um, what I did, guys, I did another super and um, changed the roof over and floor. Um, the hive was about 30 plus kilos when I lifted it and they've filled up right the way back to the last frames now. Didn't need to swap out any of the frames with mold on because the bees cleaned her up. I thought they might actually. Um, and the hive is pretty much full. They've drawn out the last uh, frame in there and they're filling it with honey as the minute. So I've put the super on and I put a queen excluder on because what I think I'm going to do is get another brew box and put them on double brood in the next month because they're doing so well. I must have a really good prolific queen in there. But um, I guess that's it for now guys. Um, I'm going to go down the house now and put some swarm boxes outside I think. So we'll see you in a little bit. Okay guys, so I'm going to set up a swarm box for this year and all I'm going to do is use my spare hive. Um, I've just got an old frame that uh, I bought real cheap, I think it's like 20, 30 pence for it. Um, and that is just a frame with a little bit of old stores in it and uh, a little bit of pollen and old honey. I don't know if you can see that in the bottom there. But um, basically, uh, just going to chuck her in like that with two normal undrawn up frames either side of it. Pop that on a roof just like you would a normal hive. And hopefully that will be enough just to lure them in. Um, it's basically how I've caught my last two swarms, um, or one of them, shall I say, sorry, the other one I followed back from a um, hive, swarm hive that was on top here. So I'm going to put it up there, guys, it's just on top of my porch, and then um, I'll check back in with you. So there we have it, guys, all done. We got a swarm box on top of the roof. Hopefully we'll get lucky uh, within the next month or so um, and catch a prime swarm this year instead of a cast. But um, a little side note, I know this is my back on by the way guys, if anyone's interested. It's a hell of a mess as I know. I'm going to hopefully dig her over and just plant some wildflower here since uh, as you can see some nettles in the back and everything. But I was propagating some trees here and uh, Unfortunately, I think one of my neighbours might have pinched out all the growing heads on them because um, I don't know if you guys know what I like to do is propagate trees and then dig them up 
you know, from our back garden or in pots or whatever, and then go plant them out in forests. But um, yeah, I guess my neighbour might have thought, um, I don't know, maybe I was growing some trees here because he's always complaining about the light, you know, wanting more light from these trees up here. He's been on to the council and that's why they've cut them back so much. But um, that's quite annoying because if he's done that thinking, oh, he's growing trees there, I don't want to block in my light, then I'm going to be really pissed off. But um, anyway, guys, there we go. There's our swarm box up in place. Rest of our potatoes chitting in the window down there. And uh, I think that's about it for today, guys. I'll see you soon.